Joseph invited his brothers and their families to join him in Egypt, he had no idea where the path would lead. Neither did natives on the African continent. Even though by 1200 AD they were trapped in a system of slavery, the limited slavery allowed slaves to go home and visit their families. This new type of slavery would drag them so far away they would never see their homes again. It would change the course of history. Ships would take people of color to the new Captive in the new world, the slave would struggle for centuries against the system of oppression. Yet, the slave would find many ways to fight against slavery. In 1847, Dred Scott, the slave, sued his owner in court. He lost when the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that Scott was not a citizen and had no right to sue. It would be almost 20 years before the slave in America would be free. And yet the system of oppression would still be present in the former slave's life. An executive order was issued by Abraham Lincoln in January of 1863, freeing slaves in the 10 rebelling states. In 1868, the 14th Amendment was added to the Constitution, making African American citizens with all the rights of other Americans. Even with laws in place, African Americans struggle for equality, freedom. Paths were trotted across an Alabama bridge, Mississippi Road, and Little Rock School. It was a difficult path, but the people who walked it were a cut above. Congress passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, giving the government power to end discrimination. The year before, Martin Luther King Jr. had given his I Have a Dream speech in the Washington Mall area. Over the last 75 years, God has given African Americans amazing victories. This memorial is open. Dr. King meant so much to Americans. I wasn't alive when he did his march on Washington, so this is my way of being a part of it. I am here to celebrate and commemorate. Celebrate 40 years since the minds were formed. And people have come from all over the world to be here today at this spot. Where are you from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I happen to have the fact that I was with Martin Luther King, and everybody stares at me. I was with him at the time of his assassination. I was on the balcony with him. We were going to my house, and of course we never got there. And I came to honor him respect all these people from all over the world and come and see this statue. And my wife and I have come together. It's, it's, a, it's a moving moment. And I'm here to honor this glorious occasion of someone who made it possible for me to travel 